What's going on guys? We're back from another video. Today we have a very interesting video. We picked up some cards from a underground toy shop, pretty much like a hidden toy shop. And then also bought some some cards from a card shop as well as um some singles. Um pretty pretty high tier singles if I do say so myself. Bought some from a trade or a buy, I believe. And that came in this tin as well as a binder which doesn't really have much in it <coughs> sorry i'll show it but i don't think it has too much in it but yeah let's go ahead and get into the cards what i got where i got it from this and that and you'll we'll go through all of it so the first is an empoleon v near mint condition um 146 out of 163 from battle styles i picked this up for around 38 bucks 40 bucks um, from a card shop. This is a card shop. This one is also from the card shop. It's the Aerodactyl V from Lost Origin. 180 out of 196. Could not get this card anywhere. Could not pull it. So I decided to buy it from the card shop at 125, 130 bucks. It is a really good buy for me because I can't pull this card for the hell of me. So solid pick up there. I'm gonna put these cards over here. Then we have Lady, also, like, most of these cards are from the card shop, and then we'll also go into some of the other ones, but yeah, card shop again, Shining Fates, Lady, $16, $17, I believe, $20, $20, I paid for this one, not too bad, Caitlin, Brigette, so this was originally supposed to cost me, like, 30 but because it was in pretty lightly played condition dropped it down to about 20 bucks so not too bad i can't get this card anywhere either so forget solid pickup then we have eight dollars for this mega equated ex pretty solid we have seven dollars for this espion deoxys by the way these are all near mint i checked them dragonite gx two of them we got five dollars each this raichu about ten dollars and this one's in pretty good condition um yeah, they had the prices on there. I checked the condition. And I was like, okay, like I'll I'll pay for this one. Um, as you can see, there's kind of lightly played. There's some scratches on the front, and the back is not that bad actually. Lightly played, but not bad. I'm actually gonna move this to a regular sleeve while I'm here. I already ripped it out. Wizards of the Coast fossil set is where this came from. So, solid pick up here. Boom. Pretty nice card. Then we have the Hitmonlee, lightly played. Venusaur. Oh, wait, that's like $10. Venusaur and Snivy, like 5 or 6 These GX tag team cards I expect to go up in the future. So, got a bunch of these. Rowlet, Rowlet and Alolan Executor GX. Again, $5. This was like 10 8 to 10 Moltres, Articuno, and Zapdos GX. The metal one, which is really cool. Silver background. Hitmonlee again. Same price. Kabutops, $10. Vaporeon, ten dollars. Uh, Lapras, ten. Pretty sweet. These cards are in pretty good condition. Those are all in lightly played or like moderately played, lightly played, but they're still in really good condition. Another Caitlyn, I got. I picked this up from a trade that I got with someone for sixty dollars and uh, a trade as well. So that's a uh, twenty dollar card right there. Then this I bought for nine. This is kind of expensive. A little nine tails GX. I picked up the trade trade with somebody as well as the Lola Nine Tails GX 132. So these are trade baits for me. Then we have the Venusaur EX also for going for trade. And the last twice I got each for like six three three each or six dollars total. Then we have a Dark War Turtle. Each of these cards were like less than a dollar, uh, probably like fifty cents a piece. We got a Dark War Turtle, the Dark Weezing, the Gloom from Neo. The Dark Gyarados, Team Rocket, Drowsy, Team Rocket, pretty cool, Squirtle base set, Pikachu, base set, Jigglypuff, Jungle, Abra, Team Rocket, Erica's Tangela from like, I think Gym Leaders, it's pretty cool, Flaffy, Neo Genesis, Charmander base set, Zatu Legendary Collection, I think. Ivysaur base set. 
Butterfree Jungle. This is a really cool card. I like that one. Erica's Jigglypuff. This one's a little bent, if you can see. I don't know why I picked this up. It's kind of a waste. But also, it's really cool, so I decided to pick it up. Then we have the E-Beater type stuff. Gold Duck. Gloom. That is really cool artwork. I love that. Electabuzz. Also love that artwork. That's really freaking cool. So, really solid pickup for me. Vile Plume, I thought was amazing. Um, Scyther. Also a really cool card. I love that. We are coughing. And then... Oh, I have this Pikachu next. There's a coughing 114. The Pikachu, really gonna go in personal collection. I really like this one. Jinx from base set two. Gold Bat 34. I know I got the weeding somewhere. Onyx 56. Ride on. We got 41. 45. This wheezing, which is really cool. I have the holographic version of this one too. It's expensive. I don't know how much this one is, but yeah. War Turtle. Base set two. Pretty cool. Skip Bloom, first edition on this one, Neogen. That's awesome. Magma from Fossil. Magmar, sorry. And then Magmar from, I think, Base. So, both of them. Got the Nidorino from Base Set. The Bulbasaur from Base Set. The Sabrina's Abra from Gym Leaders. Squirtle from... I have no idea, but it's a cool-looking Squirtle. I got it anyway. And then we have two more on this side. Most of these are from the card shop. We got the Tauros and then the Persian as well. So yeah, that was everything from the card shop. This I got in a trade as well. The trade, the trade binder doesn't really have too much, but we'll go into that last. Um, yeah, I kind of just took their cards, but also just traded for the cards I like. But a lot of them are just kind of not the best. All right, next up we have, again, um, underground card shop. We got the Gengar, um, Warlord. Didn't really pay much for these, like 25 cents. Gyarados, Reverse Hollow, pretty cool. Psyduck, oh, this I got... These are all underground or trade. So this whole pile is underground card shop. It was like toys and games um, off of a boardwalk and then also uh, in the trade. So this is McDonald's, Psyduck, and they're really not in good condition. If you want to know, all these are in pretty like heavily played to like lightly played condition. So there's nothing really too valuable in here based off the condition, but it's still pretty cool to look at. We got the Sweet Universe Hollow. We have the Charmander in really heavily played condition. Cinderace, um, Cracked Ice Hollow, we got the Grookey, we got the Sobble, um, from like a promo type set, <clears throat> I forgot what that's from, we got the Embor, pretty cool, I have this card already, it's pretty, it's actually pretty expensive I think, the Chespin promo card, Black and White Arrow I believe, I don't know, I forgot what this is from, the Rhyperior, this is the Machamp, the Vivid Voltage type. Then we got the Zapdos, Cracked Ice Hollow, the Rhyperior, Cosmos, Cosmos Hollow, Detective Pikachu promo. All of these aren't really expensive cards. Alolan Raichu from the Alolan Raichu like, XY Trainer, which is really cool. Then we have the Hydreigon. Wait, did I have more cards? Oh, yeah, I did have more cards somewhere. They got the Hydreigon, um, Zekrom. The Aveltal from somewhere, 2014, not in the best condition. The Hydreigon, thank you, Reverse Hollow, which is pretty cool. The Baneri um, BWDP06 promo card, Diamond and Pearl, worth a decent amount. The Xerneas, got the EV, um, pretty old card, it's probably worth like $5. And then the Snorlax from 2012 is pretty expensive too, as well as this Snorlax, which is pretty cool. Stormlax can fetch a pretty penny. So these are two really good pickups. It's all about finding value within, you know, card shops that nobody will buy them, but you can pick them up. McDonald's, both of these, Fletching and Char uh, Chansey. They don't really charge too much, so you can get them for a good deal. Rashman Charizard, World Championships 2019. Solid pickup. The Lugia Non-Holo, 2016, as well as the Lugia Holo. Uh, Cracked Ice Hollow, which is really cool. <clears throat> Got the Giratina. That's a really sick card, too. An XY uh, 184 promo card. Then we have a Zekrom regular from Astral or Brilliant or one of the two. Santa Conda V. Got Aranguru. We got the Yama from Team Rocket Returns. It's like a $10 card. It's pretty cool, I, if I think so. I think this one's in lightly play condition, though. Ooh, shiz. 
Yeah. Ooh, no, that's not like heavy played. So maybe like a five dollar card. Now that's heavy played. Got the Ditto V Max. Another one of these. Thunder Mountain. Blaziken V. Senna Scourge V. Not really worth much, these cards. Charger DX, but it's in really bad condition. The person I was trading with really just scrubbed them on the ground. And I was like, what are you doing? Type of thing, but I don't want to be mean about it. I was just like, dang, they ruined the cards. Now I gotta go, like, ugh, I don't know. You can't fix that. It's just ruined. So LVV Max. So this person didn't really keep the cards in the best condition. Unfortunate. Machamp DX. Volcanion V. They're probably just gonna be like um, binder cards, binder copies. The Charisma GX. Zarud V. You got a single strike Urshu V Max. The Blastoise like, promo card, which is pretty cool. Slowbar V. Uh oh, there's so many. <clears throat> slipping, it's slipping. Caracosta. Tornadoes V Max. We got the Shatter Ice Shatter Calyx V. Darmanthan V Max. Pretty cool looking Mega Tyranitar EX. Really bad condition though. So unfortunate, <clears throat> but pretty cool. Lunology X promo. Pidgeot EX. Really cool. Talonflame V. Zeror V. Um, Infrast V. Celix V. And I'll tell you how much I paid for it at the end. A Solgaleo. Or Holo Altaria, Seal from 2004. I picked these up at the card shop. Or not, the underground as well. I know that. Taros, Legendary, I think. Uh, Snorlax, two of these, which they're like, they're like $2 cards. I only pay like 25 cents per piece, which is pretty good. Lady played, so I mean, I'm still making out pretty good. I paid about like $400 for like everything, including the things coming up. Oh, these ones didn't, I didn't put in a sleeve yet, but yeah, they, they came on sleeved pretty much. But I paid four dollars for everything, so it's not too bad. We got a Type Null Hollow, Indeedy Hollow, Buffalon, Cresselia, Weezing. These are just really cool artworks. I figured I'd show you guys because I haven't seen them before either. A lot of them. Um, Clefable, Palisan, Dust Kumar with like the little things on. That's pretty cool. Reuniclus. We got Go Lurk. Skarmory Reverse, Duraludon, Deancey Reverse Hollow, which is pretty cool. Wigglytuff, two of them sleeping. Jigglypuff, that's actually really cool. Whatever they're looking at is really, really cool. It's a common card, though. Jigglypuff again, all commons. Hoopa, not really the coolest card ever, but it's pretty cool. Team Ock is Mightyena, it's a pretty good $3 card, not bad in there. Take that. Thievul, got Scrafty. Glaring Obstagoon, Pikachu, regular, Diverse Hollow Flaffy, Arc Desult Hollow, got a Thunderous, pretty cool card, got a Zygarde Hollow, Superior, Vile Plume, Ivysaur, that one's really cool, Bulbasaur from Detective Pikachu, Sent a Scorch Hollow, Darmanitan, that one's really cool too, 28, Darmanitan again, Charmeleon X uh, Evolution, Swampert, Polyrath in really terrible condition, but this one's a cool card as well. Dugong Reverse Hollow from Evolutions. Weasel. Got a Kecleon Reverse. Agatha. Cobalion Reverse. Rapid Strike Urshfu. Grapple Lock. Lycanroc. Slowking. Doug Trio Reverse. Golita Reverse. Got a Weezing Reverse. Flaffer Reverse. Ampharos Reverse. Inteleon. Walrein. Lapras. I think this one's pretty cool. Moltres, Arcanine, Nine Tails, Reverse Hollow, Nine Tails, uh, Ren Reuni Regress. I don't know where those guys from. Rapid Ash, Onyx, and then another Onyx right here. So that's all the cards. Um, four hundred dollars for everything. That's pretty much how much I paid. So it's kind of expensive, but it might be worth. And then here are some of the cards that came in the container. And then there's also a binder, which I'll show you guys. But I don't really think it has much. I don't know if you know if you want to even see it. But since you guys are here in the video and it, it already is kind of a long video, I'll just show it to you guys anyway. Yep. So these are a lot of these are trainer cards, I believe. I think so. That's just dividers. But yeah, we'll, we'll go into it. I'll just quickly scroll through it. It's nothing really too special. You guys can see a bunch of trainer cards. What's this from? World Championship 2014. That's Everest. These are pretty cool trainer cards, though, I'm not going to lie. Pokemon Center Lady. BD, 
Lana, Boss Orders, Skyla, a lot of repeats, Peonia, Flannery, Karen's Conviction, got Avery, a Honey, Sonia, like these aren't really worth much. Um, Poke Kid, Caitlyn, Doctor, Poke Kid, Lucimine, Opal Beauty, Bea, Nessa, Shauna, a lot of trainer cards there. Then you got some regular Poke card, Pokemon cards. You can see Colorist, and then more trainers. Car Carcal, Japanese card. Then more cards. You got some uh, Louder, Diverse, Hollow Zero, Gossip Flare, Love Disc, Gimolga. Kind of go through fast with this because it's not important. Switch. And then these are a bunch of trainers as well. Really low dollar trainer cards. As you can see, really not much in here. I'll just go through them. Power Memory, is that worth something? I don't really know. Could be. I'll look up, look up after, but I don't think these are worth much. I'm pretty sure. The wet. These are like common. Um, there's a go burst in here. Common cards that are a little newer, so they're not really worth too much, which is fine. Here we go. Nothing, 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 nothing. And the last little bit of cards is probably nothing as well. So, boom, boom, boom. Got a Fair Welmer. Larvesta, Stunfisk, Drillbur, nothing much. And then I'll bring in the binder as well. But I already like pre-checked this. I don't want to lay it on all the cards. I guess I don't have to. Um, actually, no. I'm gonna move everything. I don't want to. I don't want to risk it. I'm not really into risking cards and bending them. So we're gonna do a little cleanup here really quickly, and then we'll be on our way. We'll be on our way. Here we go. Put these in the tin over here. Call that a day. All right. Yeah, so what's in the binder, it's, it's really not worth much. I'm pretty sure I removed most of the expensive cards, I think. As you can see, there's really nothing over here. Got nothing more, and it's like bent too. It's really in bad condition over here. Um, this person did not keep their stuff in good condition. Um, there's deli burst, no runt. Like I said, really nothing. I'm gonna remove this. If you guys see anything of value, let me know, but I really don't think so. I'll just go from top to bottom. The hat trim. Yeah, more common cards, the Diglett. Possumissian, all that. Spiper, Coughing, Orelipede, Scolipede, Benipede, Laron, more trainers, really not cool Pokemon, more trainers, stuff that's not really in too good. There's just the energy is cool. Um, that's kind of cool, but again, really not worth much. A lot of duplicates in here. Um, yeah, look at that. Nothing good. Volcano, Galilee, Primarina, Duop, Merrill, Fennekeen, Snom, Kingler is pretty cool. There's a bunch of Charmander cards, but she might be worth something, I suppose. Charmeleon card, but they're more newer, so they're probably not worth too much. La Vesta, Pyroar. Yeah. Go, go, Cacnea. See, I um I pre-checked these cards, I'm pretty sure, so there's really nothing in here. But again, for the for the price of like $400 for everything from that I went to this weekend, I think that's pretty good. I think uh I maybe maybe they're worth a little bit more than 400, but I think I pretty much broke even, I believe. But that one card was a lot, like the Aerodactyl. So I think I pretty much like did fine, realistically speaking, and if everything goes in near my condition, it'd be better. So, um, that's that. But, oh, look, there's a magazine. But, um, <clears throat> I guess I'm okay with what I got this weekend. Ooh, the Trevenant. It's always next time, you know? Ooh, okay. Reverse Hollow Drowsy. Dene. Ooh. I mean, these cards are pretty cool. Can't say they're not. They're not worth much, though. Is that just Diggers B? Kingscons. Here we go. End of the binder, and there we go. That's pretty much it. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.